Coming up, how do you build an email list through your mobile app? Well, today's guest talks about the strategy that he used to build a list of over 47,000 emails and how that led him to build his latest product, which is a list building mobile platform. Also, listen to the tool that you can use to easily create affiliate links for iTunes and Amazon. All that and so much more. The most action-packed content from the top mobile experts. This is the App Masters Podcast with Steve P. Young. Working with an individual graphic designer has its limitations. Timing is one. Want dozens of designs to choose from in just seven days? Visit 99designs.com slash chat and get a $99 power pack of services for free. Interested in an app demo video but worried about your budget? Preapps.com can create an effective and quality video for as little as $199. Visit preapps.com and use the promo code APPMASTERS to get 10% off any of their services. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place where I bring on awesome folks in the mobile space to tell their story so that we can get action-packed content from them. And today, I've got a great guest. His name is Jorge Diaz. He's the CEO and founder at LeadLayer, the number one mobile list building platform. You guys have been asking for this solution and now mm-hmm. lead layer is going to be available. Jorge, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks, Steve, for having me and let's share a great content with your audience. Yeah, let's do it. And so we've, we've talked a little bit before. And so we've got some great content lined up and we're going to talk about how to really build your email list using a mobile app. And Jorge's going to got some great, great case studies that he's going to share with us. But Jorge, before we get into that piece of content, tell me about your story, how you got into apps. What were you doing before, right before? Yeah. Thanks, Steve, for having, having me here. And mainly I'm from Mexico. I am currently now in Mexico City. So, uh, I'm from Monterrey, Mexico and. I was in internet marketing, uh, building info products and doing affiliate marketing and and all that world. Then I I was like, uh, I need to get into mobile mobile apps. And I started with with that in 2011. Nice. What what were you doing in the internet marketing space besides affiliate? Like, give us one strategy that was working for you in the internet marketing space. Yeah, just build a product like an info product. Mm-hmm. I have a, a, an info product in the Spanish market of seduction. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I build a list there of, uh, what's the name? What's the number in English? I <laughs> don't forget. I, I forgot. It's 16,000 16, uh, email list. Wow. In the seduction niche in Spanish. So it's a big list and that's uh, how I, I learned the importance of list building. Yeah. And I know you hear it time and time again from all the, I mean, companies, solo entrepreneurs, that list building is huge and something that I'm beginning to really focus my efforts on. But what, how did you, what tell, what, what's that first app that you created? Uh, my first app was called it. It's called Telsen. Mm-hmm. It's an app focused on the Mexican market that uh, you have like in here in Mexico, five minutes free of of calling. And I made a like an a, alarm clock that uh, at 4430, it, it says hang up, hang, hang up. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it it's very easy to redial and stuff. So it, it it's a good app for for the Mexican market. <laughs> How well did it do? Uh, like five dollars per day. But when I promoted with Facebook ad, it's it did like eight eight hundred dollars in one day. Wow, uh, nice! With with promotion uh, on Facebook ads. Nice, nice man. And then you got it into the number eight position, free overall on the Mexican app store. Uh, 
No, it, that was another app that I made called right. One App. Uh-huh. Uh, in 2012, I made an app called One App, one free app every day, but it, it's in focus for the Mexican market. And I built that app because I wanted traffic for my app Telson. Nice. I like so, it. yeah, I went with other app of the day type of apps and they were charging me 7,500 euros for one promotion. Right. <laughs> so I, I was like, no, let's let me build this app instead. <laughs> yeah. What happened? So, to it? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one app, I I decided to drive traffic to sell my car and start hustling in 2013, and I buy a traffic to the to one app and tested like with five hundred dollars and scaled the campaign to seven thousand uh, dollars on ad spend. Wow! And, and I got two hundred and fifty thousand installs for that app. For one app, how were you able to afford to pay all that money for a Facebook ad? Excuse me. Like you said, you scaled it from five hundred dollars yeah, for yeah. Facebook ads spend to yeah, seven thousand, right? Yeah, I had the monetization of Chart Boost and RevMob, and okay. and the the clicks were very cheap, like point zero one. So it's very cheap, cheap traffic and, and also the, the ACPM of, of Charboost and RedMob were, was very high in 2013 in that, in that period of time. So you're pretty much like in the internet marketing days, arbitraging the traffic, getting traffic from Facebook at a really affordable rate and then mo- monetizing that traffic with chart boots ads. And then yeah, just, exactly. Nice. And then what yeah. you said, the most important part is of that whole thing. The list building because <laughs> uh, I, coming from the marketing background that I have and stuff, I created a, a landing page modeling other apps in the market. I'm not the first uh, doing this. Uh, and I built a list of 40,000 people. Uh, all that traffic that came from Facebook app ads, uh, they in, enter their email address. Because they wanted and to now, learn, what were you giving away? Why, why, why were they signing up for the emails? Yeah, the, the copywriting of the sales page is who else wants to download paid games and apps totally free. So I am giving more of what they want mm. uh, via email like to push notifications and via email. So even those who knew that you could get the same type of content within the app, they're still signing up for your email list. Yeah, exactly. They want uh, like uh, a VIP feeling or something. Right. What, what were you using? What kind of technology were you using? So this was all within the app, like for them to sign yeah. up, they can just fill out the form within the app. Yeah, exactly. I was using... Not using lead layer uh, specifically, that's yeah. why I build it. But uh, it's a, like a screen that it's not controlled by a, by a backend. So you need to update the app uh, every time to, to, to do stuff. No way. So, so it was just like a screen that showed maybe with a form that went to like MailChimp or something else. But that was it. And you'd have to change the app to change the screen. Yeah, exactly. 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 We so just- you click. You click the email button and it, it goes to a pre-written email in your email client inside the, the iPhone. And you just click send. And the email you send, uh, that email is a autoresponder subscription uh, in oh, Aweber. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. So that's a very basic way of doing it then. Just a screen and then you, you're, not, you're taking them to an email client and they have to send the email to actually subscribe yeah, to your exactly. list. Wow. That that had like 80% conversion rate. Wow. Nice, man. From people who clicked to actually sending the email. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Nice. So what happened next with your journey? Yeah, uh, I was sending like 10,000 to 15,000 clicks per day from one app to promoted apps. 
but I was like not selling promotions or or anything, just like putting good apps there and sharing the, these to my people in one app. How are you getting that all that data? Uh, with with click click trackers. Okay. Can I say the names? Sure, uh, I don't care. Yeah, it's heoriot.com. Uh-huh. They have like an uh, an uh, that it, that's a link tracker, but the link tracker goes to to the to the store uh, uh, with your affiliate uh, link on iTunes. Oh, so okay. if if the guy is from the US, it goes to the US App Store and you get credit for that. Wait, what's referral. the site called again? Geo, 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 Riot, Geo Riot, Geo Riot, yeah, dot com. So that's G E O R I O T dot com. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I'll yes. that up to the show notes. Uh, that's cool. I've been doing it like manually for the longest time. Yeah, I, I was like automating everything I can because I'm like having uh, all the Latin American market and I didn't want to lose like affiliate commissions on iTunes. Oh, right here. So smarter links for commerce. Build one link that works across countries, devices, and stores. Here, can yeah. I send you a link? Is it, it's, I think it might be called Genius now. <laughs> <laughs> or the URL is just Genius, but you know, like broken up, dot .us. Yeah, yeah. Spell Genius, yeah. but it's dot .us. Oh, they changed it. Is that it? Genius. I put it in chat if you want to. But if yeah, you go to GeoWrite, it goes to the same website. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, nice, man. That's a great one. Awesome. So how much were you making at the time? Uh, at one point when I was eight, eight on the Mexican app store uh, free overall, I was like making $400 per day. Nice. <laughs> Just <laughs> steady income. That's very cool. Yeah. So what, yeah, yeah. And then I believe you reskin some apps too. Yeah. Um, after, yeah, I reskin like C. 170 apps like uh, normal apps and then Unity Casino games, Blackjack, Farkle, and and all, all the all the casino games you can think of. <laughs> How are you doing with them? Uh, more or less is because in 2014 is was getting like very saturated and and I didn't like made what I was thinking of doing. Mm. What do you think about the future of reskinning? Do you think it's something that's like dead or what do you feel? What's your opinion on the whole reskinning now? Uh, it's not dead. The concept is very strong, but you, you, you are not going to like ship a lot of apps and without doing quality work. That's, that's gone. So you need to, to came up with things like lease building and affiliate marketing and other cool stuff like integrating APIs of other services in your app, mm. for example. Yeah. And let's get into lead layer, why you decided to build it, and then what types of things we should be doing in our apps to make sure that we're maximizing the list building process. But before I do, mm -hmm. I want to thank my first sponsor, preapps.com. So let me tell you this story. When you have no brand, and you need to get some beta testers, for instance. You're like, I know nobody. This is my first app. I know nobody in the app space, or I can't get any type of beta testers. I don't have enough time to do any content marketing to build my list. I recommend checking out preapps.com. They built a platform where consumers go to find new and upcoming apps. They have this outlet for us developers to harness early exposure access beta testers, generate critical user feedback, and most importantly, get those downloads upon release. What you do is you provide pre-apps with everything that you would need to provide iTunes and Google Play. And what they've done is they have consumers that go on there to find like, hey, this is a cool app. I want to become a beta tester. I want early access to the app. And you could build up a list of emails quick and easy. When I put OSnap up there, I got 25 to 30 email addresses, boom, right off the bat. And it was an easy way to get 
beta testers because gosh darn it, it's really hard to get some beta testers. You can beg your friends to beta test your app, but they will probably say no. So Preapps built that platform that you can get these beta testers for free. So go check them out, preapps.com. If you want to check out any of their premium premium app marketing services and you want to save on that, you can save 10% off by just by using the promo code app masters. So go check out preapps.com and use the promo code app masters. All right, Jorge, tell me, thank you for doing that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> tell me about lead layer and what you were about the genesis of a, the idea. I think we all know where it came from, but tell us about how it all came to be and tell us about lead layer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wanted this, like this solution for like, the problem I had, like, uh, tr updating the app and stuff. So it's very not worthy. And, <laughs> and I, I wanted to make this, this system like in a server and all professional and stuff. And, and also share it with, with all the app developers that are hearing us now. But what does the platform allow you to do? So like to the listener out there who's like, all right, lead layer allows me to build my list, but like, what is it that I'm able to do with lead layer that maybe I couldn't do before? Or like what, okay. what are some of the functionalities and features of the, the platform? Yeah, it's a iOS SDK. Mm -hmm. So you integrate it in, in five minutes and very few lines of code. And then you have a visual drag and drop editor that you can edit like, um, uh, your, your landing page. And also you can like drag and drop bottoms, call to actions. And also you have a uh, high converting uh, landing pages inside your mobile app that will fit you, fit, will fit the, the feel of your app. So is this, you, you, yes. Is it sort of like lead pages where you have, I can pick a template that you know converts really well. People can, and it's sort of on the fly. And I could just say like, I want to use this in my app and then have this show up in a given spot in the app? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And it's usually triggered by something. So is it, can I do it so that, Hey, after, you know, maybe like a interstitial ad, you know, like after game over type of thing, show it there. Or is it like in a menu tab, like sign up for a list, I can show it there. Like, how does that work? Yeah, you can do banner ads or, or what you're saying of game over screens and stuff. You can place it there is very like flexible. It's not like, uh, a thing you need, you need to do this is if, if not, you, you don't use the platform or something like that. Uh, but I recommend it to put it in the first, like, uh, the first screen of, of your app. Like it has a email subscription, uh, bottom mm -hmm. and a no thanks. So if you click the no thanks and it di disappears. I see. And, and in the back end, you can put like the frequency of how much uh, times it shows. So you're saying like, do it like a blog, blog would, right? Like if you go to a blog and you go to my blog, I think I, I might still be doing this, but you land there, you're kind of reading and then boom, you get a little pop up says, Hey, want to subscribe to our, my email list? You can say no thanks and continue to read the blog. But that's what you're recommending. Like right when they hit the home screen, have the pop up that shows up. Yeah, exactly. Nice. And you can do like more conversion optimized placements, like click here to get a free game and they click and they get a lead layer and they subscribe to get a free game they, they don't have or something. Yeah. What are some things that we should be giving away in to get incentivized people? I know a lot of online marketers would tell you, you got to have a lead magnet, a lead magnet, magnet is something you give away to get people to subscribe, give them your email address. And so you can get my lead, lead magnet is a ma my ASO course that I put together. It's just an hour's worth of, of content that you can use if you're trying to figure out ASO, but what's one lead magnet that we should start using in our app? Cause it's going to be a little bit different with, or is it because it's an app than it is on the web, you know? Yeah, you can uh, offer like uh, subscribe to our VIP newsletter to get more, more of our apps and news from us, like from our app company. Like for example, Ketchup can 
like get noti get notification when a, when a new new app comes to market from ketchup and everybody loves ketchup apps and stuff so that's uh, like a non lead ma magnet magnet <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know past guests of mine told me that after somebody finished the game is when they would start asking for their email address too and being like hey what do you want to know when new updates come or what other new games we're coming out with and they said that they that did that did fairly well in terms of getting email subscribers just asking them right after they finished the game too yeah uh other thing i was going to tell you is because you can do more of the of the lead magnet stuff if you have like a more niche niche app focused app like mm -hmm. a fitness app a dating app a make money online app you can share more information in those markets because in games you can do only like limit limited stuff like uh, get at a sneak peek videos maybe of the trailer of the video and stuff like that. But in in content apps like fitness apps, you can share like a PDF with workouts, uh, very good with images and, and editorial design and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's very different, the focus of list building in, in very, in various types of apps. And tell me about the, the sexy magazine that you have and how you use lead layer in that mag, in that app. Yeah. Uh, the, the lead man, the, the lead magnet we have there. Yeah, it's uh we we show uh, um, uh, uh wallpapers for iPad for, with the sexy girls uh, have been featured in in the magazine. So uh, they subscribe and we redirect them to the Facebook page where all the the the, the wallpapers are there. What's what's the so, pricing going to look like so, for lead layer? Yeah, uh, pricing it, it depending on how much traffic your app is getting. Like for your app is getting ten apps a day, you are going to be in the like enterprise level of of lead layer. But the starting plan is forty nine dollars per month, and you get like. 10,000 impressions and you, you can get like, uh, uh, 5,000 emails, uh, with, with that. It depends on your conversion rate and your copywriting and what you're offering your subscribers. Mm -hmm. The medium plan is $97 and you have like 20,000 uh, impressions or unique visitors to your landing pages. And, uh, the 15,000 uh, impressions are unique in for enterprise apps. What was the beginning pricing again? It's $49 per month. Okay, nice. And is there a free plan at all? Uh, not yet, but we are like considering uh, a lot of pricing models. We are uh, uh, a very flexible company and and we are like inviting uh, a lot of beta testers that are he hearing us now. If if they go to leadlayer.com, they they will get a, an invite and early access to the platform. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and and maybe help us out and get a a founder discount. <laughs> I love it. And Hori, what I want to ask you next is in terms of the integrations you have, is it as simple as you know? I know on lead pages, I can go on there connect MailChimp or AWeber to my lead pages and boom, like everything is seamless after that. Is that how it's going to work with lead layer too? Yeah, I was thinking of like putting, creating all the autoresponder inside lead layer, but I decided that was a stupid move. So <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I leave all the hard work to the, to the platforms, the email marketing platforms like Aweber, Mailchimp, and Infusionsoft are the first integration, and okay, cool. and they people uh, users can suggest new 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 platforms. Nice. Okay, so it's automatically integrated. So if somebody signs up through Lead Layer, one of my email addresses, that gets that it goes strictly to my Mailchimp account, for instance. Yeah, exactly. 
Nice. Cool. Is there anything else you want to cover for the layer? Uh, yeah, I, I was going to stress the fact of doing uh, lead layer and list building in mobile for this kind of apps like um, in, the, in the weight loss market and fitness market and dating market and stuff like a magazine like Sexy Mag that's mm -hmm. like a dating niche. So you can promote a lot of info products like an, uh, like an, uh, for being a, an affiliate of a, of a product, uh, in the dating niche. For example, I have an idea of, a uh, watch lovers app. Do you know, do you want me to tell that story? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to, do you want to save that for your half baked idea or do you want to say it now? Uh, you know, you already said I, it. Why don't you I, say it now? I, I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, there's an uh, Amazon affiliate program, uh, and also there's an iOS. Uh, I think it's Android or iOS SDK for mobile referral program of Amazon. So I was thinking of creating a watch app of like a Rolex fans app and then share like photos of cool Rolexes and stuff and show lead layers, like get more info in, in the newsletter of this app. Then they get subscribed and, and they, I create a relationship with that list or, or that market. And then I say like, check this, this watch that, that, that is very cool in, in Amazon. And that's my affiliate link. So if they buy a $10,000 watch, I earn six percent, so it's six hundred dollars for for one sale. So if if I like get a, a list of ten thousand people or more, I can be earning like uh, ten thousand ten. Uh, like I, I don't know how much you can earn, but you you get the picture of of the opportunity of of email list building. Yep, I like it. It's like trying to target high end products that have high ticket values and then create content that are, are like, you'll probably find content like this anywhere, but try to create good content within the mobile app, build your list. And then, you know, obviously monetize the list through different affiliate networks, just like yeah. the marketing days. Yeah, exactly. Also an example that came to mind, it's, uh, I saw an app. I is because I do like market research and see a lot of cool apps. It's the name of the app. It's called a 12 minute athlete. Mm -hmm. It, it's the model I'm promoting with, with lead layer. It's like a very simple app that shows like a seven minute workout. Are you familiar with that? Yep. Those kind of apps? Yep. Okay. It's like a high intensity training uh, type of app, but it has like uh, an email subscription form uh, and also it has a recurring revenue. It's a recurring revenue app. Like it charges you with auto recurring subscription, like $3 per month. Mm -hmm. You get the functionality of the app, but you also get like a email newsletter uh, that gives you like uh, workouts every day. And in the back end, they have a blog and they sell info products. They have Amazon products and gear and stuff. So they, they have like a little empire and, uh, and the, the app is the, the marketing channel or the traffic channel. Yeah. It's a paid app too. Yeah. It's a paid app and then it's a subscription, recurring revenue subscription. Oh, nice. That's a great model. I got to reach out to those guys, bring them on the podcast. Do you know them by any chance? <laughs> What? Do you know them by any chance? No, I was going to, to tell them that, that I was going to mention them here, but <laughs> invite them. <laughs> yeah. So I want to reach out to them, let them know that you sent them my way or I heard about them through this, but I got to check them out. Okay. So it's 12 minute athlete.com and then slash app if you want to check out the app, but I'm going to link that into the show notes. Anything else, Hori, before you hit the big finish? Uh, no, that's, that's practically everything, but yeah. let's invite the users to go to lead layer and, and also to send you feedback of what they think about email marketing and all this stuff.
Yeah, exactly. Look, I gotta tell you before I hit the big finish. Hey, Jorge, do me a favor on your Skype in your left hand corner with your photo. Put do not just click that and put it. Should, it might say online right now and put do not disturb. Okay. Cool. I'm hearing the. Whoop, it's, whoop. Uh, okay. I see. Your little notifications come in, but list building is going to be one of the key things to any business that you run. All the big companies are doing it. It's something that you should definitely be doing. I think this is going to be a trend. It's crazy, Jorge, because I talked about cream kick and this something to similar to the lead layer. And I don't think they've launched yet, but it's something that people have been coming to me for and asking me, does this solution exist? And to the listener out there, it does. So go check out leadlayer.com. Get that invite that they're not already launched. Be that first what first few members so that you can kind of shape the way it's going to turn out. And then you're going to save a lot more and you're going to grow your business at the same time. But before I want, before we hit the big finish for you, I want to thank my last sponsor, 99 designs. Look, they've built up a great platform of professional designers who are there ready to cater to your every single need. And I put an app out there. One of my next apps that I'm building is called Tic Tac Toss. It's a game and it's a twist on paper, Tic Tac Toe and Paper Toss. I'm excited to be working on it, but I wanted a really crossy road type of style of graphics. And I didn't know, frankly, I didn't know if 99designs had that caliber of designers there. And so what I did, and I'm going to share this with you guys, was I picked one of the lowest, lowest custom packages. So it was 199. I said, all right, I'm going to pick this and I just want them to create one screen of the app. That's it. All right. That's it. I want to see if they're good. If they're good enough. We'll work together some more, but I wanted to test that and I got some amazing designs back and one that I'm definitely going to pick. And I was shocked by the caliber, shocked by how, like what he was able to create. And what he was able to do was create something that I didn't even think about. Like he came up with a design that I was like, not even thinking about. I just thought like simple boxes, but he made them into houses. He made it look like a farm. And I was like, this is a clever way of thinking about it. And all I said was, Hey, it's a, it's a cross on tic-tac-toe and paper toss. And that's all you got to give these designers. And they're going to, their brain is going to start rolling. And I just told them, I want a crossy road type of style design. That's all I gave them. And they came back with some really elegant designs. And that's what you can get done at 99 designs. Project start at just 199. That's what I use. And your happiness is always 100% guaranteed. If you don't find something you love, you're going to get your, you can ask for your money back and they'll give it to you. No questions asked. So go check out 99designs.com slash chat and you get a free power pack of services worth $99. That means more designers competing for you just by using the link 99designs.com slash chat. All right, this has been absolutely amazing, but let's go to the big finish. What is one <laughs> app we have to check out? What is one app? Yeah, well, give us your favorite app or one app that you think is really cool. Uh, <laughs> Uber. Uber, I love it. <laughs> Fan favorite. Yeah, it's because I have been like taking like three Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, since since I get here in Mexico City, so it's a great app. <laughs> nice. Is there one habit that you have that you a daily habit that you have that you think contributes to your success? Uh, uh what? I, it cut off. Oh, a daily habit that you have that you think contributes to your success. Uh, taking action every day. Uh, I I have an app for that. It's called Commit. Mm -hmm. it's it's very good you, sh you should check it out and it costs like two or three dollars something like that and it it teaches you to like for example i was reading a book called it uh, the one how to make a one billion dollar app mm -hmm. and 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 this commit app was t telling me or reminding me did you read the one billion dollar app today mm -hmm. and i was like Oh, I need to go and, and do it. And if you don't commit that day, you, you go from zero. You, you go from the start. Is this something so, you made so, or it's just, no, no, stuff. it's from, from other person, but I, I like that concept. Got it. And okay. I, and I want to, to tell the app developers to, to do that concept. If they, even if they don't download the app, do it in like a, a calendar and, 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 and cross, cross days 
like I want, I need to code today my app and do it like in in little bits of of steps. Yeah, I love that. I think Nathan Berry created that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's legend or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Give us one piece of parting advice, and then the best way that we can connect with you. Uh, you can go to my Facebook uh, page. Well, my profile, facebook.com slash I am, I am or I am Jorge Diaz with a Z at the end. And then give us one last piece of advice. Oh, uh, also, it's blog.leadlayer.com. Cool. You can check. Do you have an advice, piece of advice for us too? Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter if if you are not a coder. I'm not a coder. Uh, you can do everything you put your mind on. So uh, what you believe, you create. Yeah, love it. Jorge, thank you so much. And if you guys got anything out of this, find a way to thank the guests. I'm going to link Jorge's Facebook profile onto the show notes that you can get access to him but go check out lead layer it's a great platform i know you guys have been dying for something like this so go check it out it's leadlayer.com jorge thank you so much for coming on and doing this thank you so much for you and your audience and let's let's uh, rock on with email this building (laughs) love it thank you all for listening we'll see you at the next chat you know the problem with working with an individual freelancer is that sometimes they can actually get really busy and leave you. That's why I recommend checking out B7 Dev, formerly Affordable Dev. They are back as a sponsor of the podcast and they're running a special offer for August where you can save 20% off their hourly rate. So go check out at masters.co slash B, the number seven dev That again is at masters.co slash B seven dev. Thanks for listening to the app masters podcast for show notes and amazing app marketing content. Check out app masters.co.